All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're taking a look at Better Joy for Windows, which allows you to get your Switch Pro controller or your Nintendo Switch Joy Cons working on your PC. And it also has a setting for getting it to work as a singular unified controller. Now, this is really meant to be used in conjunction with, you know, things like Simu or Dolphin or these other emulators that you can see down here. But last time I messed with it, it worked fine as a standalone. All you have to do if you go down here to the instructions is install this program after you've run and installed Vigimbus, which is required for it to function. And then you run Better Joy's installer, and then you make sure you've restarted your computer, connect your controllers, and then it should work. Uh, from there, you can also th do things like start Simu, and then run Simu hook to make sure everything's running. But I'm not doing the Simu part today. I will start playing around with that emulator and see how that works and show you for a later tutorial. So for right now, let's start out with grabbing a download for Better Joy and grabbing the, the download for Vision Bus. So to start, let's go to their releases. So we'll go over to their releases section. I will grab the latest version of Better Joy 7.1 and download that to my DS4 folder where I've been working on stuff. And then we can go ahead and open that. So inside of here, I've already downloaded Vision Bus, but I will also include a link to the Vision Bus GitHub to download that. When you download and install Vision Bus, you gotta do two things. You gotta install Vision Bus, and then you gotta run the Legacinator program from the same developer. Due to some trademark disputes, they have to change the name of Vision Bus to something else, and the Legacinator removes the old automatic updater that tries to download updates from the old website, which obviously since they don't get to have the name, they don't get to have the website either. So just to prevent anyone from getting a hold of that website later and putting something weird on it, they're just removing the updater. So just keep that in mind. Once you got those two things set, uh, downloaded, run Vision Bus, get it installed. I've already got it installed, so this isn't really going to do anything for me. I'll just close that. And then once you've got Vision Bus all nice and done, run the Legacinator program. Legacinator is going to pop up this little window here. That'll say like, oh, you have, you know, a thing here that you can remove. Go ahead and just click the buttons to remove all the stuff that it finds on your system that you can get rid of. It does things like remove the automatic updater and it also removes old outdated versions of Vision Bus from your system that might be causing conflicts, which is nice. So you can just close that once you're done. And then last but not least, we can extract the Better Joy program to its own folder and then we can run Better Joy. Uh, it's called Better Joy for Simu right now. I'm assuming it's primarily meant for that, but for the most part, oh, it's got the, the drivers already included in the download. That's nice of them. Um, but we're just gonna run Simu, and Simu should just pop up this little box just like this. It's incredibly not complicated. I've got my controller, my two Joy-Cons are plugged into their charging grip. I'll plug that into my computer, and then that should, pop open and start behaving itself, in theory. By God, I think it actually wants me to connect them blue with Bluetooth, so if that is the case, let's go to my Bluetooth settings, which are already open, and I'm going to take first the left controller, and I'm gonna press and hold the button on the back where it plugs into or slots into the switch, Press and hold that till it starts to flash and blink. I'm gonna to go to add Bluetooth device, Joy-Con left. And then that should connect automatically. Done, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the right. Click, press and hold on the button on the back where it connects to the switch. 
bell starts to flash, and then click on add Bluetooth device. And then there's Joy-Con right. Excellent. Everyone's favorite. Cool. They're also low on battery because I haven't plugged these in and used them since Tears of the Kingdom came out. So, yay. Alright, unplug those in so that they're behaving as far as I can tell. So that they're also charging. So, one of them's showing up. Why is Lefty not showing up? Look, Lefty, we talked about this. Or did you die already? Do I need to restart this whole process? Okay, so now that I've got these connected with Bluetooth, because apparently they must be connected with Bluetooth, just plugged in doesn't count like with other drivers. Here you can see that both of my Joy-Cons are plugged in and they are detected because they are showing up in yellow. Now, to get them to function as a singular controller, you just click on one of them. And then you click on both of them, and when they're sideways, they are now joined and functioning as a singular Xbox 360 controller. So now everything should be nice and happy to function as a singular controller. If you want them to function as a singular Joy-Con again, just go ahead and click on them again so that they're vertical. Now each one of them is an individual controller and they are not counted together. So that's basically a brief look at how to download and set up better joy <coughs> so that it can function as an Xbox 360 controller on your Windows PC. I know this is also meant for Simu. I don't use Simu. I will download that tonight and start playing with it so for another tutorial. And then I will have the complete better joy set up with Simu tutorial for that. Until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.